Now we discuss 10.2 Poisson distribution. So the course learning outcome is objective one identify the Poisson distribution. The notation is S distribute Poisson lambda. Objective two we want to find the mean and variance of Poisson distribution. And objective three how to find the probability using Poisson distribution. Objective one identify the Poisson distribution is used to model situation where the random variable x is number of occurrence of a particular event over a given period of time or space. For example, the average of typing error in one page, the average of call received in half an hour, the bacteria growth in one day, and the count of defect in one meter. So one page, half an hour, one day, and length of one meter is a time or space given. Now we look the difference between binomial and Poisson distribution. For binomial, it is used to model the number of success in a finite trial. So for binomial, we have n number of trial. For Poisson distribution, it used to model the rate of occurrence of an event and we don't know the n trial. Second difference is each trial result two possible outcome that is success and failure. For Poisson, the event can happen in at any point along a continuum, meaning that it only has uh, an average or, or lambda, but it does not have a probability of success or failure. For binomial, it has an independent trial. For Poisson, it has independent event. For example, bacteria growth in one day is one event. If it growth in two days is another event. Each trial has the same probability of success, that is P. For Poisson, the average number of event is constant over a unit of measure. For example, the operator by average receiving three calls a day. For two days, the operator uh, will receive six calls. So that means the average number of event is constant. For binomial, it has two parameters that is n, n this is trial, and p is probability of success. For Poisson, it only has one parameter that is lambda. We call it as a lambda. So lambda is a average, the average number. So the symbol is lambda. So we look the different situation between binomial and Poisson distribution. For binomial, example is in a recent study, 90% of the homes in Malaysia were found to have large screen TV. In a sample of 10 homes, what's the probability that Okay, and it will give the question here. For Poisson, cars arrive at the Ipoh exit is 3 cars per minute. So if we look these two examples, in binomial, it has probability that, that homes have large screen TV and 10% will not have large screen TV. So we have two probability here, that is probability of success is have large screen TV and probability of failure is does not have large screen TV and in this example also it has the number of n the number of trial that is 10 homes so each homes might be have large screen TV or might not have large screen TV for the person it does not have probability car will, will arrive in a minute or not it just give every minute three car will arrive at exit so if two minute if two minute six car will arrive for a second 
situation we have Mr. Ali is a loan officer at ABC Bank. From his experience, he estimates that the probability is 0.025 that applicant will not able to repay his offer installment loan. Last month, he made 40 loan. It has two possible outcomes. That is, able to repay or not able to repay and for this example also we have the value of n so we have 40 trial here so each loan the applicant will not able to pay or able to pay for post zone distribution the editor report that the mean number of error per page is 0.2 What's the probability that there are less than three errors in two pages? So if we look here, okay, now uh, the probability how we want to write has the notation event. of Poisson distribution. And so this page. is the notation x distribute Poisson with lambda, where is lambda which refer to mean, average, or expected value. Okay, now we write this example into Poisson notation situation 1 an average of three cars arrive at a highway to get every minute so for one minute three car will arrive so here we can write x distribute Poisson with lambda 3 so 3 here mean that three car for every one minute example 2 an average number of book so at a bookshop per week is 10 so the average is 10 for one week okay. if if we ask for two week so we have to multiply 10 by 2 number three the average number of electrical appliance returned by customer in a week is two so as distribute Poisson two Number four, the number of fish caught per hour follows a Poisson distribution with mean 0 0.6. So we can write x distribute Poisson with lambda 0 0.6. Okay, so Poisson, it does not have n. Okay, objective two, find the mean and variance of Poisson distribution. For the formula of mean is mu equal to ex that is expected value equal to lambda for variance that is sigma square equal to variance s equal to lambda so for poisson distribution the mean and variance is equal to lambda example one if the random variable x follows a poisson distribution with mean 10 find that ex and standard deviation so we know that ex is uh, expected value expected value mean means the average and we know that average is equal to lambda and it give lambda here is 10 so the answer is for question a is ex equal to lambda b standard deviation we can get from square root variance and the variance also equal to lambda so the value of lambda is 10 so we find square root 10 so it equal to 3.1623